So Greg, what are we what are we putting on the plants today? Okay, yeah. So we're uh, we're here at Dun Cannabis talking about some of the uh, IPM programs that we got going on here. So uh, in this facility here, they uh, um, uh, they don't struggle with spider mites at all, uh, and that's because we actually do a preventative program. So one of the products we use in our preventative program is Californicus system. It's a predatory mite that we use here on these plants uh, to prevent major outbreaks of spider mites. So one of the things I wanted to show you guys is just actually how to apply the Californicus in your crop. So yeah. there's a couple different ways you can do it. Um, first thing you should always do when you get a bottle, make sure you rotate them. Make sure that everything is nicely, evenly distributed inside your bottle. Now it's ready to apply. You don't have to shake it. You don't got to uh, go anything crazy on the bottle. You're just going to turn it a, a couple of times. Okay. So one of the easiest ways or one of the most simple ways to apply Californicus or any other foliar predatory mite is just actually just shake it onto the crop like this. This is, this is a little bit excessive, and as you can see, the fan is blowing it around, and that's totally okay. Um, yep. The entire purpose is to get the carrier, which has the mites into the crop. So that's basically vermiculite? That is vermiculite with the mite inside of it. Uh, and absolutely. if you look closely, you can actually see them. Yes, uh, the mites are actually quite small, but uh, when they're in a bottle like this, they do tend to like to escape up to the top, so they yep. will actually start to run to the... Uh, the surface of the bottle. Absolutely. And you can just see them very, very closely. They're moving around there and they're doing their they're doing their thing, ready to eat a whole bunch of spider mites. When they're on the plant, that's what they do. They run around the leaves, they run up and down the stems, and they are on the hunt constantly for spider mites. So it's like having your own little standing army in, in your plants. And how often are you reapplying this? Yeah, so uh, with this particular product, in this particular situation, we are applying uh, probably three to four times in a crop cycle. And that bottle contains 5,000 California. Yeah, this, uh, this bottle here contains 5,000 mites. This is a bulk version. We also sell them in sachets. So sachets are actually quite handy, so you don't have to do the sprinkle. Okay. You can actually come with a little hook on them, and you can hook them onto the, uh, the leaves of your plant. And what do we got here? Yeah, so this other product that we got going on here today is the uh, Amblesius breeding system. This one is a different species of predatory mite. It's called Amblesius cucumerus. Um, it is a predatory mite against thrips. So thrips okay. are a foliar pest. They do like to uh, poke holes in the leaves and suck plant juices out, mm -hmm. and that's why you get those little those little dots. Little slug trails, kind of. Yeah, very, yeah, very you, miniature you almost get little, uh, little feeding trails. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so again, this is a preventative product. We put it into the crop. Even, even if you didn't have thrips, uh, we would still put it in. Again, very similar. You sprinkle it onto the foliage of the crop, or you can hang them in those sachets, like I talked about with the Californicus or you can actually have your own little hanging uh, boxes that you put onto the, onto the crop and you can just put those in there. The mites will come out of there, walk around. This product here actually has the breeding system in there. So what it is is actually a tritrophic system. Tritrophic means three and then trophic means feeding. So it has three different feeding levels in there. So it has a, almost a food web inside of here with three different levels. So okay. there's, there's a bran in there. There is a mold that grows on that bran. Uh, there's a mold mite that feeds on that mold, and then there is the mite that we actually want, the cucumis that is feeding on that mold mite. So okay. there's, there's a constant cycling of food uh, inside this container and also inside the sachets. So it well. guarantees survival of that? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, a, it's an entire food chain um, that you can sprinkle onto your plants, um, so you uh, actually get good releases and good reproduction for five to six weeks. Super. What sets bio best? Uh, apart from its competition. Clean production is one. Um, and then one of our other value adds is time. Um, so we get product to you quickly. Um, mm -hmm. And then we also do a lot of custom work. So we like to come into facilities like this, advise you on what issues you are facing. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully you do know that already, but then we can also custom build a program for you okay. that can uh, uh, help you alleviate those issues. On smaller scale, you're able to really identify with the IPM program and say, oh, I have this problem and have a trained eye like yourself and notice problems before they become problems. If you have unknown situations, please give us a call and we'll actually help you diagnose some of those issues as well. Perfect. So. How do people get a hold of you? Just go to our website. It's uh, biobestgroup.com.